spot to call home. You know what? I might as well do this. Madam Ping. Let's do a freaking teapot quest. We're going back in the teapot quest. Talk to Crossel. Cross. That's a. What is a normal name? Yeah, I don't even know what that name is. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's a Chinese name. <laughs> Taking Jade. Uh, well, oops, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jade Knight and had it fashioned into a pair of hair pins. I see I'm fair. Might I presume you have an interest in the hair pins? I must apologize. I have already found them out to a lady named Ju Xiao. That's still extremely low. I don't know why it's not coming through. I gotta do something about it. Is it not coming through? HDMI. I don't know why it's not coming through. I have it set to the HDMI, so the sound could should come through, but it's not. <clears throat> Unless I have to um, get the source elsewhere. So hold on a second. In return, I include a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jade items genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me, and this to sell in the event that it is shown to be fake. Yeah, well, the value that looked good, it actually wasn't good. <clears throat> Why is your sh your, sh yeah, no, your stream auto is really, like, low? It's really hard to hear. I don't know why. Like, even if I try to reset it now, it doesn't seem to want to show up. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out why is it not going through. Of course. This way both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. Yeah, that's still really low. I don't know why it's not coming through. Hold on a second. In that case, might you know her miss your tablets? We'd like to pay her a visit and oh. I guess I'll just, if I end up editing this, I guess I can try and increase the volume, but like, I don't know how much it'll help. Okay. Also, I triggered a cutscene while it's out in the balcony. Yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? I don't know, is there anything you can? Yeah, that just shows how many quests you have in progress. Yeah. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? I'm professional. I'm just waiting for you to get to Japan. You you really want me to make fun of, fun of Japan Land, don't you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you need them in the first place? You got sick and tired of me making fun of China Land, so now you want to see me make fun of Japan Land? We now have a backlog of paid up orders just sitting around, so we've been having to purchase some stuff from other oil merchants to complete them. We had to outsource whatever we had. The big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several oil merchants I know of will be there. And that's what the hairpins were for, to. well, to keep up appearances. I can't right. Have looking down on me. Because, oh my god, you're like, oh my god, my my life is based on my looks. Yes, that is a sexist life. And even my ex had to deal with that. I don't know, get new hairpins? Because this is the part where I yell out, Fetch quest! Would you really? I sent a commission to the adventurers guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Hold on. Mr. We are on the case. Would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I'm not sure. I have a... Let me see. That's right! Yankee 
said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Chitchell somehow. That would be a little unfair to Crossel, whose name is Crossel, and I don't know how to make fun of. Uh, I don't know. Also, my camera froze. Damn it! A few moments later. All right, my camera's unfrozen. Great. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay. Okay, so what? Actually, I'll just let the dialogue finish first before I talk. Okay. You were saying? You were saying? Furthermore. The contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. What happens if uh, market prices shoot through the roof and it becomes a million times more than what it is? Are we really going to follow the, the range of the free market because the free market dictates the price? And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Yeah, so how are you going to compensate for the difference in value? Even higher. Oh, no. Oh, no. The stock price has gone up so high we can't even pay it. Uh oh Jitchell looks like she's about to faint. Do something. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Uh-huh. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are one. How do we find him? Uh, yeah, that kind of is the point. So why don't we just go find them? Please, please, I don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item. In I should pay compensation for the contract. And so you use some of the money, though, you're basically gonna spend an arm and a leg and a little bit more than that, including your kidney. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and protect our contract. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. Oh, the issue you're negotiating about the compensation. I'll the issue and then... Or you could uh, let us find the hairpins. Yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. Where are they? Where did you lose them? So hold on a moment, Mr. Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstone set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch. Like the finest quality jade. I have to see much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I uh, screw the dialogue. To the touch. Is something the matter? Like it wasn't fine quality jade? No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Mr. Crossall, get your back here. Okay, so. All right, I'm gonna continue this. I'm sick of talking about how to worry about things as I'm doing it. Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichao and Toe, too, I see. How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them? Uh, okay. She's like, I lost them! About. Relates lost the hairpins to Cross. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm pretty sure she did, and she knows, like, delivering the bad news is never a good idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Mora, <laughs> do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I, I just don't... <laughs> forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. Mm-hmm. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes, and if I may just confirm again, it was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jadeite inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Yeah, of course. Genuine article guarantee, or I pay back ten times the value. All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She better pay every last more that they're worth. It looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Hmm. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. Okay. Miss Yenfei, what is this about? Are you <clears throat> are you here to tell me how much I owe? Or is there a way we can find the hairpins? No. What I wanted to talk about is there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. Not? So she did have doubts. What do you mean? Are you implying that you already sneaked up and found them? Or maybe it's just the description of the earrings might mismatch what uh, she already knows about the, the the gemstones themselves. Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. <laughs> oh. I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy if mere mortals come into contact with it. Well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. So those earrings were fake. Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. Did he steal the goddamn hairpins and try to extort her for money? If I have deduced correctly, he might still have this miraculous jadeite in his possession. If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Yeah, well, what if he finds a way to hide them and we're just accusing him for no reason? Then what? How are we 100% certain? Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. Exactly. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up for the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Leela, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. Hmm. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. Mm -hmm. I'll share them with you in due course. Okay. Okay. Since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Huh? Oh, God. Does there have to be a contract for everything? I'm not even keep track. You can't keep track of anything. <laughs> uh, that's what contracts are for! Also, if I have one more for every time I hear the word contract, I don't know. You probably have ten. And considering the fact that we're in Leeway, where the Archon God is the God of Contracts, why would you ever be surprised in the first place? These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Yeah, because if you want to be serious about getting off the hook, you gotta have it in writing. Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. Because that is the work of a lawyer. We basically have a female pink-haired version of Phoenix Wright in our midst. No problem. Just sign here. And Paimon is like, what? And write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. And I'll also need your signatures on pages 5 to 7 and on the very last page. Finally, if you just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. Why? Ink pad? Oh, God. Why would you need a handprint? Even Paimon is like... Content has so many pages. Hydrogod, brain juice again. Wait, your brain has juice? Oh! 
such an ordeal. All right, got to do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. Because everything is so simple, yet they sound complicated at the same time. It makes you feel like you're overwhelmed, so all in the, at the end of the day, you feel as though you have to rely on this one person. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Just like that. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Okay, need me to do anything? Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve once we've got some things squared away. So in other words, no, you're useless. Just sit there and shut up! I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Oh, I've had quite the number of investigations. You don't know the half of it. Miss Lucas, I have to ask, why are you helping me? Because that is the work of a lawyer to help everyone. That is basically the law. The law is balanced and doesn't take people's word at face value regardless. So, lawyer stuff. Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus data myself. I noticed strong traces of geoenergy around Mr. Prossel, so perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. And there's, and it goes back to accusing Crossel because if you're ever going to accuse anybody, you'd have to have evidence. And in the work of a lawyer, you, the lawyer's going to say, no, you can't do that anyways. We need evidence. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter. But either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Or get off the hook from whatever agreement we had so that nobody has to spend or pay off a large sum of money. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. Yeah! But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm. Where can we find someone who processes war? Ah! I've got it! Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to working with stone and ore. If Mr. Crossell had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Okay. There you are. I've talked to you before. You would know. Why, hello there, honored customers. Welcome to... Oh, it's, it's you, Miss Yenbei. Is, is, is something the matter? Surely not more spurious claims that that my jade betting is rigged and, and no one can ever win. Oh, I swear on all that is sacred. Really? No, nothing of the sort. Has a Snezhnai merchant named Crossel enlisted your ore processing services recently by any- A Snezhnai merchant named Crossel? Hmm. I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore, claiming that it was Smaragdus jade art. And that was the first time I'd ever encountered it. So I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. So he's gonna say he's not sick from the Jade because that would kind of prove it wouldn't be the Smaragdus Jadeite. He was quite generous <clears throat> with the money too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the board after his request. Hmm. Do you have any leftover debris from your work on it? Uh, why yes. It was my first time encountering this ore after- Thank you, sir. We'll take a look at them. Uh-huh. Where is it here? While well, standing on top of it, of course. Are we gonna get sick if we touch it? If my eyes don't deceive me, the cross-sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaragdus nephrite shavings. Hmm... Not jade Yes. It's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. It's used to make jewelry all the time. I've heard it said that Smaragdus Nephrite is in fact the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. A thin layer of separation, huh? Hmm. But you must see for yourself. Try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus Nephrite! So, did you find anything? Uh, no. Maybe Jiquao has elemental sight as well. Who knows? There's nothing special to it. 
It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. Why couldn't you tell, tell them apart? These two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to tell them apart. There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of the market price. So you got ripped off. And I'm sure a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into shape. All right, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. But I always go off on a tangent. And why would Mr. Crossell? Unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. Mm -hmm. Okay. You! What do you have to say about this? Miss Yenfei? My type. If you could just confirm for me once more, sir. Mr. Crossell did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was in fact Smeridus Jadeite, did he not? Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here, it says quite clearly, the one chunk Smeragdus Jadeite. Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record and the stone shavings? Of course. But might I ask why you need them? Because we're going to have a Phoenix Wright moment when it comes to proving these stones is false compared to the actual claim. Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes, this document shall serve as signed proof that these stone shavings originated from the, uh, oh. Hmm. Yes, I see, I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, Miss Yenfei. I wouldn't say there's been an incident. Just a minor issue. This hard evidence to back us up? Crossel will dare try to deny what he did. You never know. If you've ever watched Phoenix, right? There's always going to be some backup arguments, even when someone tries to deny the first level of argument. There's, there's going to be some backup argument. On the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more compelling. Yeah, that that's basically thinking like a lawyer. You. Like, the first piece of evidence is not enough. You gotta go a little further. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional goldsmith. Let me think. Jewelry. Jewelry. Aha! Got it! Sing Sing. She often helps people to find a jewelsmith. Well, that's okay. quick. How can we know so many people? Because she's a lawyer! What do you expect? Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. Because she's a lawyer! As you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts. And contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important to us. In other words, because she's a lawyer! But the amendments made by the Tianchuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and impossible to finish. Because legal advice is really important nowadays. As such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service indeed. You take the complicated stuff and you break it down into the simple stuff. So you help them make sense of the law. But then you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish. To the normal person, yes, but to a lawyer, no. Yes, well, that's no obstacle because I've memorized all the legal codices. You memorized it? You sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. Right. Again, with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look for CC. Okay. We need more evidence. we got to be able to object. Because one piece of evidence isn't enough. Whatever it is, they'll come up with an argu another argument saying, Well, maybe uh, the jewel isn't the same thing as before, so the evidence does somehow doesn't count. And then you got to provide another piece of evidence to refute that claim. And then it's another back and forth, and some people never shut up. Enough said. Okay. Oh god. Oh, Miss Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? There you are. I have no further trouble from then on. Yes, of course. Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? Crossel. Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Yeah, he came to me with a chunk of something he called Smaragdus Jade. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. This order was on hold for a very long time, 
and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Maybe, but you never know. Miss Sinksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Prossel commissioned you to find him a jewel smith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many <clears throat> expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Uh, Mr. Prossel yeah. wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. Okay. I also kept a copy from my own records. See for yourself. The item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. Hmm. The only gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the ministry on it. Thank you, Sing Sing. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Because I need evidence. Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here anyway. <laughs> Nothing you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. What if everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? Because, as my uncle told me before, when, where there's a will, there's a lawyer. Ugh. But in this case, where there's a legal document, there's always a lawyer. <laughs> Must the nature be a legal constancy? Hmm. I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. Why? Baiju. The weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? Um. I think I know why. Because the Smaragnus Jadeite causes people to be sick. And if we can get him to say nobody got sick during this proceeding, then it is very much possible that the Jadeite is fake. Because only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragnus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. And that. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands, we can wrap this case up. Hmm. Yo. My, my. To what do I owe the pleasure? Though I'm I need something that says this gem is harmful. Don't touch it. No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jada. Smaragdus Jada? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. Where? Can you testify to the it? The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get more food. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit chat. We need that as a written statement. I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Yes! That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jade, I recently. Hmm. A Smaragdus merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. It's Crossel, isn't it? But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. Was he... Like, why would he be disappointed? Like, I'm just thinking, is it possible that... He was going to use it, and he knew he's reluctant to use it because of the harmful effect. Like, does, or is he expecting someone is going to get ill as a result of it? I wonder, Miss Yenfed, if your pressing business might be related to the Snezhnayan merchant? Yes. Ah, uh, you needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baiju. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. You're too kind. Okay. Okay. Cross all! It's time to present and throw evidence in your face! You. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yeah, but one other thing. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Wonderful. Well then, please, 
<laughs> of course. <clears throat> According to the stipulations of the contract, Mr. Crossley, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Sure. Wait, what? Me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Also, this freaking camera froze. All ah, my God, my expression there. Dear God. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Sparagus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Sparagus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Sparagus Nephrite. He used the wrong material. We thought it was an expensive one, but it's not the expensive one. The expensive one is really sick to everybody. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Because you used a different material, therefore the value is switching, you somehow have to pay her. Material evidence? What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you can't frame me like this. I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. I actually do have it. Indeed. <clears throat> Only a testimony from me. Show the evidence from the Jade Mystery Machine Jewelry. As an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Uh, the jewelry. Okay, so it's fake because the Jade Mystery uh, showed it was nephrite. This <clears throat> is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Th that's an unsubstantiated belief! Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence. Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence wrong one. Fix him at all. Seems the part evidence. Something legally binding. The amazing yes, jewelry. Show him, traveler. Or how about the evidence that says someone would have gotten sick from it? Oh, come on. I meant the backup copy of the document from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Okay. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It's the second piece of evidence didn't work either. If you guys getting... Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hair... Of course I'm right. All the evidence shows... No, I just presented soul. the wrong evidence. Well, hang on a moment now. Because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler, would you do the honors? The, the Baizu Pharmacy. Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? He was. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait, wait! I... <sighs> I knew. Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... Mm. Huh? No, I... <sighs> the hairpins aren't actually... Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that what you were about to say? You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Mr. Crossel... Your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I... I... Can't be seriously intimidated. Again, that's legal constants to eat for you. Something. That is the mark of a lawyer. To get something right and to logically bind someone into a sentence where they cannot escape. 
Such as every response, breakdown response, and Phoenix Wright. I confess, the ore I had and laid on those hairpins was, was Maragnus Nephrite. But I'm a victim in all of this too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Maragnus Jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. So... I went to Google Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? Hmm. That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I didn't touch it again. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, Jichiao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. So why do you charge Jichiao an extraordinary rental price? Exactly. If they weren't the real deal, why did you make them pay so much? Hmm? I, I didn't want to either. But when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days of this line of business would be over. Alright, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora, and that is final. Well, at least I managed to find the right piece of evidence in the end. Ten tons. Crusoe looks like he could think any second. Okay. As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, twenty percent of that sum will go to me. Okay. Twenty percent? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite. Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much more. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. Ms. Jichow, you... However, Mr. Prussell, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider a even. What? But I... All right, then. Miss Yanfei, I'll turn this Smaragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Hmm. Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. But whatever. It'll right. Be Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yenfei. But when you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now? Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is, is that so? That's good. That's good. This is why you gotta do a bit of investigation. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second. I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ore. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. Okay. I, uh, let me think for a moment. He, he definitely has that Phoenix right hairdo. <laughs> now nah, I think about it. And so it all worked well, out. That. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants too. All's well that ends well, eh? Yeah, there were some twists and turns along the way, and I need to learn to choose the right evidence. Uh, more like a small stack, but what the hell. <laughs> Even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpin. Because sometimes people's claims can be a little off. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. As if, was there ever a problem in the first place? Why was the problem brought forth? The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, Proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. So in other words, 
instead, like, I was thinking of looking for the hairpins, but, like, it, it kind of turned around. Like, even I was curious. Like, where exactly are they? Well, they're expensive. It's like you should have, like, turned the thinking around. Well, they're expensive hairpins, which kind of brings to question, are they expensive hairpins? Can't say I've never met an adept this like you before. An adept. Speaking of, you uh. were in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Eli Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. In any case, don't you think that the Liuai Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs adaptal powers? Yes. I know you think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. I think there's more than just reason involved here, Paimon. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. <sighs> At least I managed to get the proper evidence in. You. We were, thanks to you. Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Oh, good. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. I'm off, then. Bye. Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. Oh, God, we are really trying to get in the lawyer business here. We're looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, Oh, okay. Child, are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot. Nah, I don't think she wants you. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <sighs> that child. <laughs> <laughs> that that leaving part almost reminds me of a uh, C.K. Louis. <laughs> or Louis C.K. <laughs> where that <laughs> screwed all. <sighs> Indeed, she is. I'll explain in a second. Has changed, and the Adepti must also learn to change. Yanfei might be a bit garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Yes. Ah, uh, Leo is not the same place I once knew. When is anything ever the same thing you ever know? All right then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Okay. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How and how long does it take? <laughs> it is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Hey, my man! The teapot world. Oh, God. Teapot world. Constructs the gift. And constructs many oh, universe inside gift. Serenity pot is <laughs> Serenity. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh goodness, take these blueprints with you as well. You Thank need you. Them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively and wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Oh god. <laughs> oh, you needn't worry about that. Or you even probably explain your thing. Oh, teapot dimension! Serenity pot. Unlocked. Miraculous teapot. Oh, you're not gonna let me read it! Select inventory. Switch to the gadgets. Yeah, I never use this feature. Serenity teapot from another end. There seems to be a whole new realm inside of it. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God! Oh, 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 o